Okay, do you hear me? Uh, I just thought I'd <laughs> pop in and, and see if anybody's got any questions. I got been working pretty hard recently and need a little diversion and uh, social distancing is getting to us here. I uh, see somebody's uh, Facebooking me now about a biotech company uh, that you're looking for money in. What? What? Tell me what? Where you are? What city and state you're in? In that biotech company? Uh, let me see who that was. If I could find a good man, I, I am just terrible with all these. Um, stuff that doesn't work Yeah, I'd like to do more of these live things to, uh, to help people because that's the best place really, for me to learn really about what I could do or what I could get that maybe you don't know yet. But Facebook has a new camera thing, like a room or something like that. <laughs> and I've been playing with that for a day and a half. It doesn't seem to work. And then I found some other people. I'm not the only one. And now my camera doesn't work on <laughs> Facebook normally to go online here in the group. So I had to finally download uh, Firefox. But I use mostly Chromebooks, so I don't, Firefox isn't, really available on a Chromebook, you know, because Chromebooks are for Chrome. <laughs> so I got to dig up an old computer that I could put this on. Uh -huh. So you got any questions? I mean, there is so much. By the way, you know, what's going on in Washington now? They're, they're going to have more stimulus money. You know, it's coming. You know, the people are so screwed up. I mean, uh, financially, I mean, like 40% of small businesses are out of business. I mean, that's phenomenal to me. It's 40% of small businesses. Now, that's not 40% of um, people out of work or anything like that, because there's more small businesses. I mean, one big business has millions of people working for it, right? But there's still a lot of folks. So there's a lot of pain going on. And, and you know, it, it, it's to me disappointing that we have to go through this, but it's also, we have to go through it no matter what now. I mean, we're in the middle of it. But what's interesting to me is that it, it gives time for reflection on what the rest of us are doing with our life, you know, and what we may, may want to do differently. So it really is a chance, you know, to, to do something differently, maybe. Uh, and that's what I like showing people uh, how you could do things differently without spending a lot of money. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on all this. Ruth, are you there? Can you see me live today? Or is that just a, a post you're posting? I don't know. Maybe you don't have the things differently without spending a lot of money. Oh, I hear me. <laughs> so, so I guess you hear me. So if you have your audio on Ruth, <laughs> <laughs> you can ask me a question, or what is your question? Uh, a few seconds ago, she left a question. Well, I don't see it here, so it's not in there. It must have been somewhere else. She left the question. I wonder who, I wonder who she should be. Uh,
Yeah, so that, any, and I think what, at least from my biased point of view, we all have very biased points of view because of our own experience. We don't have had other people's experiences. Um, but it seems there, and so what anybody's view is really, really an option, a possibility. It's not the definitive answer. Nobody has the definitive answer. Just like Fauci, you know, the, the virus guy, you know, <laughs> one of the senators called him, you're not the definitive answer. And all, he probably knows more about this virus than anybody else in the country, but he said, yeah, I know, and <laughs> I'm not the definitive. And we all have to be humble like that, that none of us know the definitive answer. And that's why me, if you're looking for help from me, I mean, I, I am certainly not the definitive answer, particularly to tell somebody how to run their lives, because I barely know how to run my own, you know. And we all struggle in that. But what I'm trying to show people are options that you may not know about that are out there to do things in life. Um, and again, and, and the options I give you are, are, are not guaranteed. <laughs> Nothing is guaranteed. But at least what you have to do in life is not have anything guaranteed because nothing is. Uh, and you get frustrated if you think it is, or you'll waste a hell of a lot of money thinking you could buy a guarantee, which you can't. Uh, and the best I think you could do nowadays is just <laughs> have a chance to try something. And then you try it and whatever. And, and that really work the real life comes in is is in trying and failing so if you're not trying and failing i, I don't think that's real life anymore everybody's guessing <laughs> whether you're the president or a street cleaner we're all guessing man. <laughs> but i think what what's really possible in, in our our society as being able to, you know, most people could do most things. I mean, sure, I can't play professional football or anything, and we're certainly limited in some ways, uh, but I can do something. And so if it's, you know, sandlot football, I'm still playing football. And if that's what I feel I have to do, then I can, you know, and you can do that no matter who you are. So that's why if you're an actor, maybe, and you know, sure, maybe you won't be on the next, you know, Academy Award movie, but you can act. There's ways to do it and, and, and to satisfy. I mean, like we all want to make love, right? So there's ways to do it. You may not get the, you know, uh, the most beautiful woman in Hollywood or whatever, but, but there's something there for all of us, you know, to try. And, and even in jobs and creative income, there's so many new ways to make income now. I mean, you see these restaurants are going out of business left and right. And I was reading today with well, some of them that are going out of business, uh, but they have the little, you know, people drive by and pick up food. And then the, somewhere in the United States where they're opening up the businesses now and half the tables can be served, but they're still making more money out of <laughs> the, the drive-by window you know, than at the restaurant itself. So it really creates an opportunity if you're forced into something that creates, uh, you know, an opportunity for you. If you're not forced into it, you're just going to create, you stay doing the old stuff you did. Yeah. Uh, and that U.S. pushes ahead to reopen. 17 states are reporting at least 10 percent more new daily uh, coronavirus cases. Well, cases are to me. Death is. Senate will wait a couple of weeks to decide on the next stimulus package. See, okay, here's a headline now in CNN News. They are still talking, you know, this is Mitch McConnell, who said he's going to talk about another stimulus package. And I think no matter what happens, I mean, the Democrats came out with $3 trillion, and, you know, now it's up to the Republicans to do something. Uh, oh, there you are, Ruth. I, I was thinking of putting my remarks in the wrong place. That's okay. <laughs> Love. What can I help you with, Ruth? Because that's why I want to just be casual about this and try to help folks as I can. What are you looking for to do? What do you need help to do? Uh, what do you want to change? What do you need money for? Uh, tell me that. Let me point you to things uh, that are possibilities. These are all possibilities that you could try.
and learn that skill. Ruth, come on, baby. <laughs> what do you need, Ruth? Oh, oh, no, that doesn't matter. Oh, I see. Oh, is that me? Ah, Ruth, hi, I think I said the wrong. Hi, Ruth. Come on, you got me. I'm all yours. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> you see that little desk back there in red? I don't know if you can see it behind me. It's about you know a foot and a half big. That expands to about seven feet tall, long. For we got a, two small apartments here, so that's for when lots of people come and see us <laughs> for dinner or something. Uh, and that's what that expands to. Ruth, please let me help you. Anybody want help? Please. Oh, by the way, I, I keep you know helping people get the uh, unemployment money. And remember, the unemployment money is is more than people who just lost their job. You can have a part-time job and get unemployment money. You know, uh, you could never have a job and get unemployment money. You could be the person who has to stay home and, and take care of a child because the school's closed. And get, that gives you unemployment money. And the amount of unemployment money now is actually more money than the if you have a business. I mean, if four or $5,000 a month you could get from them. Yeah, and so that's, yeah. And, and another thing, I think it, it's worth just trying. You know, apply. Even if you don't think you're eligible, it doesn't matter. You're not to decide that. The people who will read your, don't lie. Just put in the facts and see what they say. Because it's just so complicated. And they change the rules every day. So no one really knows the rules. They're changing them all the time. And, and so that's why it, it's a numbers game. So you try, you apply to that unemployment thing. You know, unless it's really stupid to do. I mean, I don't know. We're all different. Yeah. But I swear, it, it, it costs nothing. And there's so many more places now for extra money, really, for pay rent or mortgage. Uh, oh, my son's coming in town midday tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, he lives about two and a half hours uh, away. Uh, he's a geek. <laughs> And a computer geek and a hippie. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I need help with some dental implants, barred and a lot of home repairs. I'm, I am talking a lot. Is that why you need dental implants? Because you're talking too much. <laughs> Uh, okay, Ruth, what I'm going to send you, what state do you live in, Ruth? What state do you live in? Tell me what state. Okay, i got to get a plug. You like those striped pants? So, uh, what is, uh, what state are you in? Are you in no no? Is that your state? <laughs> that's a well, that's a bad state of affairs to be in no no. <laughs> I need help with some dental implants. Barred. What's barred? And a, a lot of home repairs. I am talking a lot. <laughs> uh, so what did you mean no no? Uh, but tell me what state you're in. Um, one place you could start looking, particularly for free free and low cost dental care. Uh, 
needy meds I'll send you more than this uh, but this is let me see if that works yeah okay uh, what I'm always looking for are places who've done a lot of you know gold mining on the internet already and compiled things so I could steal from <laughs> Oh, I see. You maybe answer that, and I just didn't see it down below, did I? Oh, man. Yeah, I see. Oh, Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't see. I I was <laughs> trolling down. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> uh, what was? Oh, oh, you need that bad, not barred, uh, dental. Okay, there, and you, you'll see, they have, if you, you click on needy meds, you'll see under patient savings, on the top left-hand side, it says patient savings. Okay, you go there, and then it has drugs, it has uh, medical clinics, then it has dental clinics, okay? And then they'll have the free and low cost dental clinics there. And see, they have a note there. And you put, now you put your state, and I'll put Indiana, A, B, C, D, Indiana. Indiana. And they have a note there. A lot of dentals, dentists aren't working because of coronavirus. So, but try to get in anyway. Call. Maybe their offices are working. That, they have a whole bunch of them there. Volunteers in Medicine, Monroe County, see, Trinity Free Clinic, lots of stuff there. I'm going to send you other things, too, to show you universities, show you county, and things like that, and, and other programs that are available for dental. Uh, so shop around. If somebody says, oh, yeah, we could you know, get prices or whatever, just don't take the first, third, first one. Uh, that's important. Okay. Now, the other thing, maybe I could do this here. You know, I'll give you a link. Um, that's not it. Now i got to find you back. Are you back here? No. I shouldn't have played around here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let me look for a link. Maybe I could give you a, a report that will teach you how to find all the grant money where you live. Okay? And that's important. And because, see, I, I can't do a report that for every it's different in every county i mean I, i'd have ten thousand reports just for home repair so what i have to do is what you know what makes sense because i'm a one-man band i'm really doing all this myself uh i mean i got a little bit of help uh R -P -A -I -O, uh is i teach you where to look in your hometown okay now here's a here's a report I'm gonna give you right now. Where are you now? If I can remember where the heck you wound up to be. Where to be? Where to be? Where to be? Where to be? Where to be, be, be. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let, let me know if you could download this report, Ruth. Because this is a report from my Google Docs that I did all the research and then I, it's a video instructions. Okay, any place I get help for my family, vehicles, uh, jobs at home? Yes. Um, Let's see. Uh, 
Well, the first thing, it sounds like you're hurting financially. Is that true, Ruth? When I hear is Barbara, I'm, I'm able to get, you know, I, I cut the sides just so I don't look bad, but this top is getting to be a, a real mushroom. Uh, I'm going to send you the one place here is there's about five organizations where you live, Ruth, that help people with low income. Okay. And I would think that a good thing to do is contact each one of them. You know, tell me you're, you know, struggling with income, financial problems. I'd love to talk to somebody to go over you know, my situation and if there's other programs or something to help or to make sure I don't go into debt, they're really helping you. They help people and they get grants to do this for free. So they're, they're not going to charge you anything. Ah, oh, here I did. I lost it again. Uh, they're not going to charge you anything. Here's, here's that. Okay. And on this one, again, just there's one see the links there's two links down there so open them download them that okay did you were you able to download the home repair i want to see if that works i haven't tried this before so i don't really know if it works so you have to be my guinea pig <laughs> So does it work, Ruth? And anybody else is watching, you know, in, in the chat place, you could download those links. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Uh, but you were able to download them, uh, Ruth? I just want to make sure they work that way. And anybody else who's watching us, uh, you could download those links too if they help for you. Uh, and I, I'm going to get you, well, let me see if I can get you the Indiana thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ruth, here's, a, here's the healthcare one, too. This is a report that has the dental in there, too, uh, but also healthcare. So if you need a mammogram or, <laughs> uh, you know, you don't feel well. So how to get free healthcare on the clinics or everything that's available to you, uh, even for your pet care. So you don't have to pay for pet care. Yeah. And, and that, that is there. See, that's a, I mean, it, it's nice of you to say I'm amazing. I, I, I don't, I enjoy what I do. And that's what uh, the most, the most selfish thing I do <laughs> in life is being able to do what I enjoy. That's a, to me, this is not working. Uh, it, it, it's really, uh, it's food for my heart and everything. And you guys are nice enough to join and the group and that helps me you know be self-sufficient too and, and that's so i can't think of a better life in my <laughs> no matter what i dream of yeah uh and i i am so grateful to be able to help you okay now we have what is the other one oh i know you want to get a job right okay every place in the united states has something called career one stop 
uh, C A R E E R, <laughs> and then one stop. And I'm going to give you the list of job training information for Indiana and the career one stop. See, I don't know how old you are, Ruth, but it doesn't matter. You know, for training, I mean, I'm 76, and I think I got maybe 20 more years yet. So I can go back to school and become a doctor. It doesn't matter. I got 20 years. Yet. Somebody coming out of college or high school or whatever, don't think more than 20 years. So if you got 20 years left, you could start a whole new career. And, and it doesn't matter how old you are anymore to do these things. Now here is the other link for Indiana. Okay, do you see that? Download that, contact, and try to talk to these people. Now because of the government not wanting to work so much or nobody is, I wish I could catch you and your wife together more often. <laughs> you live in Indiana, <laughs> or come to town. <laughs> Yeah, we live downtown now. It's really fun. We have two one-bedroom apartments in this apartment building. It's right down the urban, you know, walk to restaurants when they're open. <laughs> it's a lot more fun than living in the suburbs. I really love it down here. Uh, and I thought it was going to be a big problem with me because I'm a clothes horse. <laughs> I got lots of, just turn, see, you're a kid, Ruth. You're a child. Look at 65. You can now go to college for free at your age. Go to, call the junior college. Okay, give them a call. They probably have somebody in call. Say, hey, I wanna start a new career because see what they have there too, and that's in that report about you know, uh, jobs and education and training. Say, I'm looking for something to get a skill. Maybe to start that. I mean, we, we need lots of it. See, you could go to school for six months, a year or something, get it paid for, and get a decent job, yeah, uh, and have a career in front of you. Um, and now there's so many service things, particularly in healthcare. Uh, now one of the big hot things are sleep apnea people. People can't sleep, and then you become a technician after a year or something. And you watch people sleep and take notes. Man, doesn't that sound tough? <laughs> So there, there's just so there's just too many ways. Also, I'll send you how even on the internet now you could start doing that too. Just try. There's there's literally hundreds and thousands of ways to earn income on the internet that are not scams. That that's over now because there's too many legitimate people now. So the scammers are all going away. And I'll give you a report and all that. You want all that here now? Okay, what the hell else? We got nothing better to do. Nobody else is asking questions, right? So let me help you. Let me help Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. I got so many bloody things open. Just to help Ruth. Okay. So those five places you want to call, okay, here's, here's I put together a bunch of reports and some to how to make money at home flexible. And see, if you're 65, you're not going to have any experience of what the way jobs are now, you know, like Uber and Lyft and everything. Nobody's full time. Oh, nobody, oh, people only work when they want to or everything. So it may not be a big career move, but it's a way to, to just lock in some extra money fast. Like my, my son, who's a, a techie and a hippie, if he needs you know, a quick hundred bucks, he just to, <laughs> opens his, his phone and <laughs> it, uh, delivers lunches to people on Uber Eats. Oh, I, got, I made enough, I go home. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, there's another bunch of things. If you need them again, I could send them to you, you know, uh, do a discussion thing. You know, really. Now, all these things are going to be a pain in the ass to start. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. But don't forget, what's happening to you now, if nothing is happening, that's a bigger pain in the ass, right? 
So you're going to have to go through, you know, a learning curve and trying and failing and trying this and, and find the right one for you. But there's lots of opportunities. So you fail, you screw up, you hate this, you don't like that. But keep going. Don't say everything is bad. It's sort of like dating one football player who was an idiot and you're saying all football players are idiots. Yeah. You can't do that in life or you're going to miss life <laughs> because there's idiots everywhere. And there's lousy things to do. Everywhere. So when we classify everything like that, you got to know what's available and then what's the best for you. Yeah. And, and you can't sit, you can't determine yourself what's the best for you because you don't know what's available. So if you're sitting there, oh, I want a football player, you know, six foot two and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, all these requirements to go out looking. Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, <laughs> because they didn't show up that night or whatever. And this midget comes in that steals your heart away and your hook, line, and sinker, and it's all over. So that's why you can't. It's really getting out there and seeing what the possibilities are, and how you can make it work for you. Those possibilities, and and, and that just takes more work than most of us want to do because we have this preconceived notion about what life should be for us. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, the people who run life <laughs> don't think about you and I, Ruth. <laughs> They're thinking about themselves. So you have to go out there and they say, well, we're going to do this thing for Ruth to take advantage of. Uh, you know, they don't do that. So you got to go, well, okay, what is the life offering and then that, how can we make that fit for us? I mean, that's sort of the way I see things, because otherwise you just get too goddamn frustrated and do nothing because you're waiting for Mr. Perfect or the perfect uh, idea. And you, and you really build that. You take something that isn't perfect, but you say, maybe I could make something out of that. And it doesn't work out. So you say, screw that. I'm going to do something else now and maybe try that. And that, that's sort of how you build a mosaic life, you know, a little piece here, a little piece there, and you build to something that is really turns out to be perfect for you. But after you, you tried so many things and put pieces together to, Hey, well, I like this part, but I didn't like that part. So I, now I have to, you know, figure out how to do that. You know? uh, and, and you build it that way. You know, and, and that's why it just takes a lot of, it's like learning to walk. I don't know if you have kids, Ruth, you know, that when a kid walks, you know, he falls on his ass a hundred times, right? Before he's able to do something. <laughs> and, and that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You got to fall on your ass a hundred times to figure it out. I mean, you can't take a kid and put him in a classroom and teach him how to walk sitting at a desk, right? Got to get him up, walk and fall and fall. And then, and don't forget you have to fall. So if you're learning to do something new, you're just like that kid trying to walk. You know, he said, all I have to do is put this foot there and put that foot there. And, oh, okay, then I'm walking. You know, but uh, it's not that simple. And that's why we think that if we take some course or give thousands of dollars to some experts, he'll give us, give, give us this <laughs> roadmap to how to walk. No, that's just going to work. <laughs> and you're going to go out there and fall on your ass anyway. So that's what I mean. Just go out and fall on your ass your own way and you'll save a lot of money. <laughs> you're going to wind up on your butt no matter what you do. Yeah. And maybe there's one in a hundred, a thousand, or a million, or whatever. And, and they're the people you see ads for because they didn't do that. But that's not you. That's not me. That's not the normal people. <laughs> you could, there's an outlier or something for everybody. But uh, most of us are going to have to work and fail and uh, have a lot of <laughs> maybes. Life is full of maybes and failing and everything. But that's the fun part. If it was real easy, man, then it wouldn't be <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else have a question? Any other question? Okay. Boy, I gave you uh, I have my home office. Oh, great. Uh, I've been online for two years, been scammed a lot and have an LLC for wholesaling, but the company took $35 in classes and supposed to sponsor me. But yeah, see, I, mean, I hear that over and over again. Uh, it hurts me. So just think of what you could do with that $35,000, right? That would have 
solve your whole tooth problem, right? You wouldn't have to learn how to get that for free. Um, we're all, when we're trying so hard and, and, and vulnerable, and it's easy for people to take advantage of us. You know? And that's why I think that when you start anything, you just have a rule of thumb and you don't spend any money on it. I'm gonna send you, here's another thing I'm gonna send you, is how to, how to retire in three years. It, it's not really that, it's gonna take you a lot longer, and it's a lot harder, but it's how to take something you wanna do and make money. Truthfully, Ruth, I, I, you know, to be successful making money, it doesn't matter if you're an LLC, it doesn't matter if you're home office, it doesn't matter anything. The only thing that matters is getting a customer. And all these people, you know, that sell you things, they're selling you all these things and promises and whatever. And that doesn't matter, you know. And that's why right here, this, this, let me see if I could find this link for you. Uh, and, oh, okay. uh, but at least now you know about online marketing somewhat, right? Okay, see what I think, I mean, what I do, all my businesses, I started with zero money. You know, I did, I started the first two with money and they didn't work and I failed. And then when I looked around, I said, who won? All the people I bought stuff with, like you, you know, $35,000, they're the people who won, <laughs> not you. Uh, so here is, Here's what I think, particularly in our society now. Uh, here, that, that report tells you uh, how to. I retire in three years in home investment. That to me describes what I think is probably one of the best things to do because any business you do is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, it, it takes effort, but you have to want to be there. Uh, it's sort of like any relationship. I mean, I've been married three times, you know, and it took me two failure, failing things to realize, man, that's hard work. So if you're not going to, willing to put in the hard work, you're not going to make it work. You think it's easy and it's going to be all, you know, roses and lollipops and everything, then that's not real life, you know. So your work is the same way as a relationship to me. And so it's trying to find something that you like doing so that you stay there for the hard times. So like in a relationship, you know, oh, that guy picks his nose. <laughs> that's a deal breaker. I'm out of here. Well, we all have faults and we're all screwed up, you know. And if there's not something bigger about that person that you you really like, you know, it's sort of like you, you get up and then you, you both want to change the world or something like that. You see, you appreciate that passion of the other person because you have that passion. So all his dirty socks and all that kind of stuff, that disappears. You know, if you don't have something bigger, then that becomes a big stone in the foot, you know, in the, in the shoe. That just annoys the hell out of you. Uh, so your job is like that, you know. And I think the key in life, which I feel uh, so fortunate to find something I love doing, I do this for free, and, 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 but I make money out of it too. And, and that is wonderful. So to find something and see nothing, like here, look at you see me on Facebook, uh, whatever. I mean, I, I, I market on YouTube for free. I, mar I do everything. It takes a while. It took me a long time, many years, to figure out how to make money at this part. When I was selling books, it took me a number of years to figure that out, too. But, but just realize it's going to take time. That's why if you go to these other gig economy things, learn how to get income so you have some income, you know, to pay the bills at home and start doing these other things, testing ideas about what people want and how they want to buy it.
And that's where you have to keep testing. And see, now with, with the internet, there's so many ways to do that and not spend money on marketing that. If you haven't figured that out, what people want or how they want to buy it, you're just going to waste time spending money on that. So it's okay to waste time, but not money. Yeah. And you could do that for free by just using social media. Yeah. yeah. So guys, well, let me, uh, any other questions before I go? Because I got to go get smiley. <laughs> so I got some things I got to finish up today. So I'll, I'll try to just pop in here more often uh, as I see it. And, and Ruth, they, uh, it's fun to, to help and talk. It helps me. See, I, I feel I could get an answer to anything. I just don't know the questions. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm trying to do. Keep learning. It's fun to learn. So, uh, Ruth, you want to see that report on uh, dental clinics? Call as many as you can on our lat. Uh, the five places that help you with finances uh, to make sure... Yeah, maybe there's some programs around that you're not aware of because a lot of local new programs there for paying for rent, mortgage, all this kind of stuff because of Corona. Uh, also, Ruth, did you, you should apply for unemployment <laughs> because it's really not unemployment. It's just money to live on and it's more than ever and it costs nothing to apply. So just go and apply. Let me give you a report so you could take this report Call for your state in Indiana and uh, just apply. Even if you're working part-time, full-time, whatever, just see what they say. I mean, unless it's really stupid for you to do that, you know, uh, <laughs> don't do it if it's really dumb. I don't know your life or what they really mean or whatever. But uh, now, it does, I mean, they have rules now. You don't even have to have a job. You, know, you, could, be, you could have a part-time job or whatever. You could never have a job. And, they're all kind of crazy rules and they change them every day. So you just go and apply to the sucker. Yeah. You know? And the worst case is they say no. Well, they said no if you don't apply too. <laughs> so you got nowhere to go but up. Yeah. Okay. And that's how to find that. Okay. Okay, Ruth. Got enough to get in trouble? Oh, okay, remember, anybody, uh, start a new discussion. If I don't answer a question, start a new discussion after two days, then start a new discussion, and I'll answer it again, or, or find it for the first time, or whatever. There's so much stuff you know, uh, on the cloud, it's hard to find a lot of this stuff sometimes. So bear with me if I don't get an answer, uh, but I want to answer you, because I, I think I have an answer to most things, or a possibility is what it is. And, and I want to show you possibilities, and then you have to do work to track them down. And remember, when you track down anything and they say, no, did that let's go tell you to call here? He's full of shit. There's no such thing ever like that. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I've been called worse. And, and But you say, okay, if I'm wrong calling you, where do you think I should call? Yeah, because they're in the business and they may know something that you and I would never find out because they deal with that problem all the time. They run into the people who are also doing that and other organizations and stuff like that. So uh, never leave empty handed, leave with another source if you don't get money from them, okay? Take care. Now, how do you turn this sucker off? <laughs> there should just be a button, 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 button. Oh, I see, that's another. Uh -huh. <laughs> And live video. Love your suit. Oh, thank you. Ruth. 